How did Players Club come about? Oh, um, I was on the I was on the set of um, what was we doing? Uh, 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 what Q? Uh, uh, oh no no no, a Players Club. I, I was on the uh, I was up on the uh, uh, me and Gary. We was hanging out. Gary said, "Come on, nigga, we finna go up to uh, we finna go up to the Jamie Foxx show." So, uh, shit, we went to the Jamie Foxx. We was back there chilling behind the scenes and shit, behind the stage, chilling and shit. And um, bam, you see these big ass feet and shit with some Converse coming up to a nigga. Like, the fuck this? And the feet don't match the height and shit. <laughs> like, I was like, it, 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 it's still, bam, it was cute and shit. It's like, what's up, homie? It's like, uh, cause uh, the West Side Connection, they was doing, he was, they was doing uh West Side Connection on Jamie Foxx and shit. And uh, Q bounced over to a nigga. He was like, hey, that's when I said, okay, all right. I kind of like feel like I'm kind of, I'm kind of doing my shit a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Ice Cube, you know what I'm saying? Coming over to me, homie something's got to be, you know, I'm doing something right, you know. But uh, I felt, I felt, I was like, damn, it's Ice Cube. But then I had to shake that shit like, okay, he was like, oh, shit, I probably got something for you, you know, got something for you, homie. And uh, I said, shit, all right, shit, hell yeah, man, shit. You get your whoops, exchange some information and shit, gave him information, whoop, you got it to my peoples, and uh, shit, uh, bam. Went on that motherfucker, and uh, but the cold thing about it was, um, when I went on the audition and shit, and you know everybody's in the hallways, everybody in the hallway, everybody in the hallway, bam. So I'm like, okay, this motherfucker was on this, he was on that, you know. But uh, inside the uh, inside the room, you know, auditioning um, was um, Willie D. From the ghetto boys and shit. So I'm I'm you know, I'm cheating and shit. I'm listening to the, you know, trying to see what's going on. You know, you really you ain't supposed to be listening, you're supposed to do your own shit. But I'm hearing them laughing and kickcocking and laughing and shit about, you know, I remember that show we did and uh, you know, Booty, you know, and all that shit. I'm like, damn, I'm sure I ain't finna get this motherfucking role. I know I'm not about to get this. The way it was just too much. Camaraderie, they laugh and then you know remember the times and I'm like damn he finna get this shit to Willie D. But I respected his call like okay, and I just think about that too even in business like look I don't care if you my homie I don't care if you my brother my friend whatever it is I'm gonna go with the best for whatever the shit is because he could have easily gave that shit to Willie D. I was, you know what I'm saying? But he didn't go for, you know, just because we partners, you know what I'm saying, that I got to, you know, do something like that. You know what I'm saying? You got to earn your motherfucking keep, you know what I'm saying? Because this is for the better of the film. Not saying that Willie didn't do his shit, but, you know, he just got, I went, mean, you know, I went and did my shit, I, you know, <clears throat> just like F. Gary Gray. I'm going to put you on, but you still got to do your shit. You know what I'm saying? Only one time I uh I did a, I did a um, and uh what's his name? He just let me slide straight through. Um, you know, uh it was for a man and wife. And I shout out to him. He was like, shit, man, you know, just go on and do what you do. I did a show called Man and Wife. I didn't even have to audition for it, you know. I guess that's where, you know, it is right now, you know, some with some of these, you know. But, you know, within anything, you know, I still wanna work for mine, you know. And do what I need to do, showcase my talent, you know. Yeah, but uh, yep, that's what happened, though. Yeah, man, that role you played was out of pocket, man. You raping Ebony? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you should have seen what I did in the room with Cube. Did I'm? It's acting. I'm, I got to, you know. It's, it's not it's just, it's just you got to whatever the role entails. You got to go full fledged, all out with it, you know. So. And it's unfortunate, you know what I'm saying, because you know, with some motherfucking wood, you know, I got sisters and shit like, you know what I'm saying, all that just crazy shit, you know, wood, you know. But in in all actuality, you know, you, you want somebody to make it 
damn. Oh, man. It's, oh, I can't believe this motherfucker. Like, you really believe it's happened in real life. Like, when you see, they see you, that's like, man, this motherfucker. Like, man, hold up. And cut. It was just acting. Yo. It's, it's not really happened. But these things do happen in real life. So, you know what I'm saying? So that's where you got to put yourself in that shit where I got to make you believe that this shit is going on right in front of your face, right there, right now. Like, oh my God, this is just like, this, this is really happening. Not, okay, this shit really, just, you know, no, so they like they uh they just they just put a little meme out a little shit out with me and um uh, I, I, I can't you know that's Lawrence Fishburne you know what I'm saying they talk, they put all my shit and they put well the most most hated villain of the of the 90s roles of the 90s and the only one motherfucker out of him was him and Lawrence Fishburne how we had to put him because I'm like shit I thank you for the honor but. No, nah, my hat goes off Lawrence Fishburne. He's a hell of a fucking actor, and I, I'm his protege. You know what I'm saying? I look up to him. You know what I'm saying? 